A special welcome back to you today if you're stopping into this episode because what we're going to do, we're going to hop into a casual game and we're going to professionally broadcast, sportscast, that casual game. Now, we picked up a few tips along the way. I've been doing a little bit of reading to try and figure out the best way to cast. Now, one tip I picked up because, let's face it, we need we need help. So if there's anything that you think I should touch upon more or fix, put it in the comments below. We'll bring it into the next one. Remember, this is episode six of Road to Broadcaster. We have not professionally casted a game yet. We're going to get there. So if you, hey, you want me to cast your game, I will do it. We're trying to grow. We're taking every single chance we can get, and that's what we're going to do until we get there. Please join me on this journey to Road to Broadcaster. Oh, man, if you have not subscribed to this crap, it's going to be excellent. It's going to be great, and we're going to not stop until we reach it. So let's hop into our casual match. Let's do a uh, 3v3 is a little much, maybe. Let's, uh, I don't know why this is not, oh, I had my mouse there. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go with some twos. We'll see what we got. Hopefully people are a little more competitive in the casual side because, um, my teammates just are, 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 are terrible, right? That's that's what people do in Rocket League. They blame everything on the teammate because that's what you do so you can sleep at night. All right, let's let's uh, let's hop into this. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, I, uh, I, got, I got something to ask you if that's all right. I got to, uh, depending on if you're there or not. Seems like you joined the channel. Um, let me just double check if you're here. Oh. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, I got a question to ask you. Um, if you don't mind, I got a dream. And I'd like to live out that dream today and practice for that dream, if that's all right. I would love to be a professional broadcaster in Rocket League. And uh, if I may... I would love to uh, try practicing out with this game. What do you say? I just may. No problem. All right, all right. Block that! No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Things happen. Things happen for a reason. Okay. All right. Where are we? We're in the canyon, I think. We're in a, a dust bowl. Where, where, the, where the hell are we? All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another 2v2 match. This is a casual match game we have today, so let's face it, people are just here to practice and not actually give a crap. When I say practice, I mean we're looking at pretty much diamond players who have just given up, who have just thrown in the towel and don't really care anymore about the game. They're probably moved on to Fortnite or some sort of story method game. Who knows? But well, really, they're just here to kill time until their mom comes and yells at them to do something around the house. Let's move into who we have playing today. We have King Nasty with Lix as well on the orange team. And on the blue team, we have and uh, Patel's dubs. Patel dubs. We'll call, uh, we'll call you Patel. All right, now you call it, we'll call you dubs. How about that? Dubs and we got Brenda. You guys have seen Brenda before. Brenda is... Um, she is quite the player. She is more of a competitive player than anything. She would love, she would absolutely love not to be um, the one that brings the team down for once. But, uh, hey, there's a first time for everything, right? Oh, well, and I think she's, uh, she's doing exactly what we thought she would be doing, which is actually letting the team down from the inside. She, uh, she didn't even make an attempt there to jump. That's... Um, that's what we that's classic Brenda right there. But hey, let's uh let's move to the Dubs Patel. Now Dubs is a is a um he doesn't actually spend much time in Rocket League. He spends well, he does, but he spends he's more of a rumble main. So when we when we look at a rumble main, we look at somebody who is really just looking to have fun in the game and not actually try out the competitive edge of the game. So we're not expecting much from Dubs over here. King Nasty, on the other hand, is actually just waiting for a friend to show up at his house. So he might actually just click out at any moment. Oh. And our last licks is uh, is just hanging out, getting some practice. Uh, he is actually a, a... Whoa, he is actually a grand champion in threes. 
But uh, it looks like he may be smurfing in his twos here. We don't know. But that, uh, that, is, his, that is his situation on the competitive edge. Uh, it doesn't look like he plays any other games. He's just hanging out in casual for now. Uh, that was great. Wow. Dubs taking it to the net, taking out the entire team. That was a 2v1 we had, and we have three minutes left in this game. It is a tied-up game, 3-3. Three, three. And who knew it would be this hot down in the desert? Uh, luckily, we are in an enclosed arena here, an enclosed field. And uh, we're looking at 123 degrees. Um, but that is on the outside of the arena. On the inside, luckily, we have air conditioning here. So we are not suffering too much. Yeah, we are looking at a 28 degrees Celsius. That is almost, uh, that is almost pushing an 80, 81, 81 degrees Fahrenheit here. Yeah. Uh, so we're looking pretty good. The, the athletes driving their cars are, are having a good time. I know Sassy's got her wine in her cup holder, as she usually does. Uh, Dubs is drinking the Blue Gatorade as he, uh, as he enjoys, as he is sponsored by Blue Gatorade. I don't know why uh, they would sponsor him, but he is, he is quite the Rumble's main. So that is, uh, that is what he is doing. He did have to pay for that sponsor. Is what we're we're just getting fed now this news, but uh, when it comes down to Lix, Lix is a G fuel man, and uh, King Nasty is straight up gin. That's all he drinks. He just drinks gin on the job. So it, it looks like maybe uh, maybe Lix and uh, King Nasty can have a. Like, sorry, Lix and Brenda couldn't get along together. We got some gin and some wine. That's not bad. All right. Ho ho ho. Oh man, Lix being an absolute wall there. Oh, Sassy doinking it the wrong way. Looking for some looking for some potential here, looking for nothing. Got nothing. That is Sassy Brenda. That was a great great pass by Patel by Dubs, but Lix is looking for the deke, looking for the dodge, but she oh my gosh, Sassy just just being an absolute stonewall, blocking the shot, and it were making its way, dribbling slowly into the net. Huh, taking that home. Sassy, put that to bed. There you go. Yep. Sassy drinking more of her wine there. Taking another little sip. Letting the game go. We are we are stuck in casual, and this is probably why casual games are not really sought after as much, because when it comes down to it, nobody really cares. There's very, very little care. You get, um, you don't get people leaving the game. You don't get people doing much. You get people kind of hanging out, trying different shots. And it's probably not one of the better games to cast. It is a game that probably should not be cast. Nobody really cares. King Nasty is being nasty by not leaving the game. And then you got Lix, who has just kind of given up. It's like, it's like when you're on the beach. And somebody's poured, you know, sand and water all over your towel. And then you come back to sit down. And then you just get, you just, your towel's all wet and you, you're trying to get dry. And, uh, and then you got sand all over your back. And it's just the worst, Jeff. It's just the worst. Yeah, not, not that ever happened. But that's, uh, that, that's, that's how it feels. That Lix is just... Not trying anymore is pretty much given up, and with this kind of attitude, you th you see this kind of attitude more so in a. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that calculated shot right there, firing it off. Did we get over a hundred? No, seventy-seven miles per hour. That would have been beautiful if it went over a hundred miles per hour. But wow, that was a triple pinch right there, and a team play if I've ever seen one. That, that's how much Licks is really just thrown in the towel. Um, no pun intended there with uh, my. My towel analogy, but uh, that that is true. You do not want to get water thrown on your towel and sand, uh, because that that sand really just does get everywhere. And uh, being um, being with the female anatomy, it just gets up in every orifice. It is not it is not something you'd be uh, you want to have down in your downtown mix up. But yeah, we've got a we've got a nine to three with one minute left. The blue team is just slamming these the heads of this team. Um, it feels like they're actually beating them physically, mentally, and emotionally on the most part. They are they have completely given up. This is uh, this is what we'd like to see in a casual match. We like to see a beating on all levels. Um, 
yeah, they're get, they're getting beaten on every single level possible here. Um, and as we can see, Sassy's uh, Sassy's utters her um, her t the tits of her utters flop around side to side. They're almost um, they're almost uh, hypnotic if you watch them slowly wave and jiggle back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And there's another one from Dubs doing a flip reset, kicking it. Oh, he didn't get the reset, but he did get the touch to tap it in. Just tap, tap, tap it in. Great job, Dubs, taking it home and really actually making a huge difference in this game. Dubs has been the the reason why, the reason why uh, the other team, the Orange Team, Licks and Nasty, have just given up. He is the absolute what would you call Punisher? He is the goon on the team. He is just the the he has been just an absolute terminator when it comes to uh, team demoralization. Um, not his own team. Uh, he hasn't really communicated too well. He has communicated a little bit through quick chat, but you know when it comes down to it, it'd be nice to see some comms. It would be nice to actually have a little more communication coming out of the team. But he has been quite the support player when it comes down to it. But when it comes down to it. Anybody that has Sassy on their team is pretty much doomed. My name has been Brenda, and this has been another casual match in which we'll upload to the Sassy Brenda stuffs. So you're very, very welcome. Dubs, you're very, very welcome. And, uh, yeah, this will be on Sassy Brenda YouTube. We'll catch you later. Thank you for dropping in at the Dust Bowl at the whatever you call this place. We'll catch you soon. Bye forever. So th I guess that's what happens when you cast a casual match. Uh, people just kind of don't care. They don't really have as much love <laughs> for <laughs> the competitive edge. They won't keep going if they lose. Uh, but hey, if you guys like that, let me know. What was your best part? What was the best part of this? Timestamp it down below in the comments. Or what was the what was the part that really should you know I need uh, I need to work on. You know, and we'll get better. We'll get better. I keep looking for tips. I'll share them with you. If you guys want to become broadcasters, let me know. Let's cast together. Maybe we'll cast a game together. Let's do it. All right? Let's hop in. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.